Hello friends. Have you saved a bloom from the funeral of every ex-lover who's died? Then today's episode is definitely for you. Hello and welcome to Laugh Cry DIY. I'm Katie and I'm tired because I've been creating so much content for you. Luckily today I have a simple, easy craft involving dead flowers. Lately I've been noticing art with dead florals. Sorry, dried florals. As an immortal witch and widow to 132 men, that idea appeals to me. I was recently at the thrift store and I noticed this item. It's a clock with palm trees on it because we're in California. This is a fun piece in a dorm room, but today we are going to deconstruct it and give it a new life by turning it into a display case for dead florals. Step one, take the world's tiniest screwdriver and unscrew these cute little screws. How easy was that? Boom. Do you know what time this is? Is it 69? Is it 420? Guys, I don't, this is not my humor, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna lie, I needed to craft today because I received some devastating news, which is that my boyfriend says he doesn't like shag rugs. And specifically, he doesn't like the shag rug that's been in our bedroom for a year. He never told me. Well, guess what? He won't be able to tell anyone anything soon because I'm probably gonna get rid of it. Found it, all right. Now, the real question is, are we going to make today the day without a moment from hell? <gasps> Boom, we're done. So here's what we're doing today. I wanna to make a beautiful little tray and or potentially wall decoration that is a bunch of dried florals under glass. Iconic, original, forward thinking. How did I come up with it? I just had the coolest idea. Okay, it's not for this project, but how tight would it be to make a clock where every number is dried floral art? This isn't it, this isn't the project, but that would be so beautiful. So my idea is to, I'm gonna hot glue flowers to this, and then we are going to trap them under the glass. Um, but the problem is that this glass is kind of scratched, and if we can, let's try to make it better. This tip is from a website called theplasticpeople.co.uk. In the UK, I thought all the plastic people were in LA. Am I right? Roasted. You take 600 grit sandpaper and then you wet it and then you scrub, scrub, scrub for three minutes and it will look more scratched and frosted and then you do it again dry and then somehow it de-scratches. We might be ruining this, but we'll see. To start, I am simply going to start glue sticking all the flowers I have from all the men who've passed away. This was Bartholomew, Dante, Teddy, and his yacht was swallowed by the sea. Joey, heart attack while being pushed off a building. Leo, Lord Windermere, choking accident. This was DMX. This was Jacob. This was Donatello, sharks. Sharks that had been trained. This was Jason, squirrels. It was Jean-Pierre, he died of pretension because he was French. And this will, ow, ow. That was the ghost of Jean-Pierre, angry at me again. Some of these do look like dead sea urchins, I'll give them that. Okay, this is already so cute. We didn't even start yet, you know? Did you guys love Morticia Adams as much as me? I'm not one for like seasonal holiday decor. I don't care for celebrations, but this kind of a thing, if you did like seasonal flowers and s replaced them, I don't know what I'm saying, but it would be really cool and pretty. The mother, we have to make a really good space for her. She really might be too much. As Bartholomew always said, you're too much. I'm just gonna fill in the edges with like single petals just to fill in any like empty emptiness, just like my soul, you know? Oh my God, is this gorgeous? Look how luscious and beautiful. Wow, absolutely beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Ow. Imagine this for like Halloween. Throw some spiders in there, just throw a spider on it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> 
so freaking cool. Okay, well, I'm a genius and this is absolutely beautiful and I took out this little like insert because we don't need it and I'm just gonna screw these back on. All right, there's nothing more treacherous than the world's tiniest screw on a wrought iron table with holes standing on top of a deck with holes. Well, this was lovely, and I think I might have another funeral to plan, so let's go ahead and cut to your final reveal. This piece of decor is my new husband. If you like more cheap crafts, thrift flips, makeovers, and mysterious deaths, then I hope you will like and subscribe. Bye.